Welcome to the Steve Harvey Show. I'm Steve Harvey, and today we have a special guest, Dr. Phil. Well, sweet. Oh, well, well, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. What are you on the show here for, Steve? Today we have, to, er, we have two guests, Thomas Stevens and also Jackson Stevens. Jackson Stevens is the father of Thomas Stevens. Thomas Stevens is a very troubled boy who, for some reason, builds hydrogen bombs in his garage. Let me take you to the montage and we're going to see. My son Thomas, it all started two years ago when I caught him designing a hydrogen bomb in his garage. I didn't know what to think. Look at this bomb. That's bad, Dad. That's how it looks like. Dad, Dad. What are you doing in here? Get out, Dad. All right, so what I've been hearing here is uh, you've been building nuclear fission bombs. And hydrogen bombs, that's true. Did you know that they were a cause of major destruction to Japan in 1944 during World War II? I did not. That, I is, uh, that is a shame. Why have you done this? I don't really think those events matter to me. They don't affect me. And I just want to build some nuclear fission and hydrogen bombs. You are a very selfish child. Listen to your dad. What do you have to say about this? You're a very selfish child. Mom would be ashamed of you. So, uh, Steve, what do you have to say about this? I'm just appalled, Dr. Phil. By the way, I just want to let you know, if my mama caught me building hydrogen bombs, she would tear me up. Just going to let y'all know that. All right, so you understand that hydrogen bombs are the single most destructive weapon created by mankind, right? You could. You could I don't plan to use them on anyone. But why do you make why them? Why do you make them? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, I, I couldn't have said it better. It makes no sense. It makes no sense, sir. No shame. Look, son, I know you're troubled, but there is other ways to stimulate your brain. I know you're very smart, but hydrogen bombs is not the way. No. No. You could be doing much more productive things. Yeah, you could... Hey, hey, hey! hey get back here, boy! Hey! Hey, 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 Jackson! You, you walk out now, you're walking out for the rest of your Okay. Let him go. He decides. Oh, get away from me! You made right. the decision, Dr. Phil. Alright. Alright, let's get back in. Let's get back in and see you okay? Alright. Sit down. Right here. Alright, thank you. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask you a couple questions about why you did this. Okay? Alright, Steve? We're gonna do is we're gonna be going over how there are no pros of using that's not true. Excuse me. I can you let me off. finish. Let the man speak. Let, let, me, let, finish. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Thank you. I appreciate that. So there are no pros. Cons, they're devastating. Devastation, mass chaos. Radioactivity. Thank you, sir. Right. You're exactly. Thank you. Nuclear fallout. Yeah, it's awful. Millions it dead, ecosystems made. destroyed. What do you say about this? Well, I say there are a lot of pros too. You know, like hypothetically, sleep. if I if if the if the United States of America needs me, I could blow any enemy sky high. All right. But but you're not you're not part of the you're not United States government, the, are but you? But I could be. No, you could. When you making bombs at this age, boy, I don't think there's a chance for you nowhere. I don't even listen to you. Okay. All right. So do you know where and when? these nuclear bombs were discovered and made. Do you? Like it matters. I'll tell you. They were made in Germany by a nuclear physicist. A nuclear what now? Physicist. Okay. My goodness. Need so an education. What you could be if you could just stop making hydrogen bombs. Mm -hmm. What kind of juvenile makes hydrogen bombs in his garage? I'm just ashamed of you. I think we can make a difference in this boy's life. I think he can too. He just needs a little tough love. Mm -hmm. Dad? Dad, we're looking at you. We're looking at you. Looking at you. Can you leave these two alone to discuss some important matters between them? I agree. All right, let's go. You know, son, I can't do this decision. You're going to boarding school and living with your mom. What? Can't deal with you anymore. Hey, 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 hey go hey, hit your father. Sit hey, down. Man. Sit down. 
you will not disrespect your father like that. Right back after this short commercial break. I didn't do I thought it. Welcome back to the Steve Harvey Show featuring Dr. Phil. On the last episode, we had young Thomas Steven, a troubled boy who used his time to make hydrogen bombs. His, he was sent by his father to a boarding school for troubled teens. And he's back on this show now. Let's see if he's reformed or not. I just want to ask you a few questions. You know how dangerous this radiation is that was in your house? Um, not necessarily, no. Well, it was the answer. It's very dangerous. It can cause up to, it can cause multiple birth defects correct, that are hereditary, and it can change you on a cellular level and kill you. Did you know that? Did not. Hey, and there's another thing. But yet, you oh, still oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. Okay. No, no. All right. So there's, if the bomb did explode inside your house, there will be immense amounts of thermal radiation and no house left. That is true. No and this thermal radiation can generate intense pulse of heat that can burn skin for miles. Do you know what type of radiation that bomb was producing in your household? Yes, sir. All right, please explain. The atomic bomb releases gamma, neutron, and ionizing radiation emitted during the detonation and long periods of time afterward. Okay. Due to the nuclear decay equation, after seven hours, 90% of the radioactivity from a nuclear bomb will be gone. To one-tenth, it's level of one hour. After 49 hours, the level drops again by 90%. And after two weeks, it drops a further 90%. I'm sorry for making hydrogen and nuclear fission bombs. I won't do it again, Dad, I promise. My name is Steve Harvey, and this is Dr. Phil. I want to thank you for watching this special, and I want to remind you to never make hydrogen bombs.